Hey y'all, it's Charlie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video if you're new here. Like I said, my name is Charlie and I am a Boston-based flight attendant for a major US airline. You know, the one that pays us for boarding. As you can tell by the title, what is this one hair doing? This has got to stop. Speaking of that, do y'all like this new hair? It's very different for me. Let me know if you like it. I'm wearing green today because we're talking all about money, baby. You guys ask me about money all the time. How do we get paid? How much do we get paid? What are we paid for and what are we not paid for? How much do I spend on a trip? How much do I make per trip? So I figured why not just tell you all about it. This first video is just gonna be a pay breakdown. Pretty much how much we get paid and what you are paid for, what you're not paid for, that type of thing. Later on in the month, if you are interested, I will do a whole video about actually digging into one of my paychecks. Before I really get started in this video, I just wanna say I appreciate you so much for watching. Make sure you like it, all that good stuff. And I'd really, really appreciate it if you subscribe, maybe even share my videos and follow me on Instagram. I would really, really love if you follow me over there just because it's a good time and I'm getting to know y'all as actual friends over there. And I just love it, love it, love it. So yeah, go follow me on my flight attendant Instagram. Also, this video is gonna be a blog post on my website as well. Go check that out if this video format is not good for you or, you know, save it for the future. Alrighty, let's get into it. I'm excited. Let's talk about money, baby. Classic ones and zeros, baby. I'm obsessed with you. A lot of people just ask me straight up, how does flight attendant pay work? So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is our base pay. This is your main component. This is the largest sum. When people say, oh, I make minimum wages like what? 725, 750, unacceptable. This is our version of that. This is how much we get paid per flight hour. At my airline, I get paid $32.20 per flight hour. This is as of today, March 2nd. Now in April, we are actually getting a raise to $33.81. And this is our base pay as if you just started at this airline. So if you just got there, like me, and you're making $32.20, the longer you're there, usually every year, you get paid a little bit more, topping out after you've been at the airline for 12 years. So after you top out your pay, after you've been here for that many years, you actually would end up making $72.38 per flight hour. That's wild, that's absolutely insane. I'm just trying to make it to like my five year pay, but to think maxing it out at $72, that's insane. And after April, for my airline, you'd be making $76 per flight hour crazy. I can't even imagine. No, I do believe you guys are smart people, but I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of that base flight pay. And like I said, that first example was actually what I make because I haven't been with the company for a year. So we're going to use that, the $32.20 as of today that I make per flight hour. So let's say in one month I work 90 hours and I make $32.20 per flight hour. 90 times 32.20 would be, y'all like how I said that? Like I actually know the answer. One second. It'd be like $2,800. If I'm anywhere close to the right number, I'm gonna be very impressed with myself. 3220. <gasps> that was good. You'd be making $2,898. Now, that's not too bad, but you can't really live off that. Not in these expensive cities, because most airlines have bases in very expensive cities. Trust me, I know, I'm living in Boston right now, and I did not know that is the fourth most expensive city in the United States until I got sent here. And I chose it, so it's no one's fault but mine. $2,800, will that pay my rent? With lots of roommates? Yes. <laughs> but that's not really enough to get by. So that brings us to our next thing that we're gonna talk about and that's per diem. Per diem is also known as your time away from base. When I'm on my layover, when I'm walking around in Paris or I'm exploring Raleigh Durham or I'm laying on the beach, eating barbecue in Texas, just having a chill layover and laying down in bed watching Netflix and playing Sims. Also when I'm just sleeping, showering, all that normal stuff. I am making money. This is my time away from base pay, my per diem pay. For my airline, domestically, for our per diem pay, we make $2.45. Now, when we work in the international trips, when we have an uh, international layover, we actually make $2.90 per hour that we're away from base. In theory, this is supposed to cover like my basics, like I guess my food, getting around, pretty much the bare necessities of, hey, we have you, 
thousands of miles away from your home, here's some cash. I appreciate that cash. It adds up. Especially when I was working at my regional. Yeah. I needed every bit of that because I was only making, I think it was like 16 to $19 an hour, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that per diem added up. I needed, needed, needed that per diem. So basically, the longer the layover, the higher the per diem pay. The longer the flight, the higher the flight pay. We got it? Awesome. Once again, I do want to make sure that I'm making it very clear that these numbers are going by my personal airline that I work for, but all of them are going to be pretty similar if it's a main line. Um, the regionals will be a little less, unfortunately. They just make less money than we do. Even the wholly owned ones, which is... We can talk about that another day. Speaking of my airline and my airline specifically, let's talk about boarding pay. Right now we are the only airline, I know in the United States, I don't know about other airlines to be honest with you from different countries, we're the only one that pays flight attendants for boarding. Imagine going to work, clocking in, greeting passengers, giving them pre-departure drinks, helping them with their bags, getting yelled at because a gate agent told them there was no room on the aircraft and when they got on the aircraft they noticed that was cleaning up vomit if your kid vomited on the way in, smiling, waving, being pretty while the whole world seems like it's on fire, doing your pre-flight checks, all of that stuff and not getting paid a single cent. That is what most airlines are dealing with and I believe that all flight attendants should be paid for boarding. But when I'm doing all of that crap, I'm getting paid. Specifically, I'm getting paid $16.10 per hour. Now, our boardings aren't usually an hour. Most of our domestic flights are 40 minute boardings. That'll be about $10.79 because that's how much 40 minutes of boarding would be worth. So yeah, that's better than nothing, especially like on a four leg day. I would say if I was working about 90 hours a month, which I usually work more, but let's just say, I would probably make about an extra $300 on my check with our boarding pay. We don't get paid for deplaning, but it's fine. Like all you're doing is getting off. But um, yeah, I'm clocked in. I should be getting paid. And luckily my airline is an airline who gave that to us. Whatever your conspiracy theories of why my airline chose to pay is that, I don't care. As long as it's in my paycheck, I don't care what your theories are. Boarding is actually my least favorite part. So yeah, flight attendants need to get paid for it. And imagine how much other flight attendants for different airlines could use an extra $300 or more on their check. Yeah, because you could be thinking, oh, well, you make $32 an hour. I don't know. I just gave you all that voice. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you work a nine to five job, that sounds decent. But the flight's only two hours and I only made 60 bucks. So no. Not doing that, no. So that's definitely a great example of how this boarding pay and definitely per diem adds up, makes it a little bit more worth it. I'm clearly not doing flight attendant for the pay. If I wanted to get paid more, I would go back to nursing or I would do more things with the military. I would focus more on my side hustles. <laughs> Cause you guys, lots and lots of flight attendants have to have other side hustles to subsidize their income. And if you guys want a video about that, I would definitely do that too. So we talked about our base pay or flight pay. We talked about our per diem or time away from base. And we talked about boarding pay. Let's talk about those other things that you can get paid a little extra money for. So international pay. If I'm working a trip from here in Boston to Paris, I'm going to be making an extra $2.05. That's going to be on top of the $32.20 that I make per flight hour. Purser pay. So if I'm on, I wouldn't be. <laughs> Let's make that clear. I'm not purser qualified. I've only been here for like seven months. If someone is a purser, which is basically a flight leader for international flights, they make an extra $5.65 for being a purser or a international flight leader. That's amazing. I don't like being a flight leader, so I can't imagine that I would like being a purser, but $5.65 might make me like it. <laughs> Service leader pay. So on an international flight, you have your purser who is in charge and they are in the front galley at my airline in our aircrafts. And then you have the person right under them, the second in command, and that is the service leader. They work main cabin, doing the same thing as a purser food-wise, but just for the maid cabin. And it's a little hard to explain. Hopefully that made sense. But basically it's like the second in command, the person who's running the galley in the back of the aircraft for main cabin. And this person makes 
$3.80 extra on top of their base pay. And then a flight leader. So flight leaders at my airline or the A position as some other airlines like to call it make an extra $3.50 per hour. And then we have things like multiple leg pay. If you're working like four or more legs a day, you get extra pay. Holiday pay. We actually have a awesome, awesome thing going on where if we sell alcohol on the plane, we get a little piece of that. I think it's like 5% divided by like the number of flight attendants working the flight. So it comes out to be a very little money, but any extra money added onto my check, I'm down for. And I know at a lot of other airlines it's pushed, especially at my regional and the main line connected to my last regional, but we don't push credit cards as much at my airline. I definitely did when I was at my last airline, but we would get um, a little, I guess it would be, I guess it would be a commission type thing for that, but it's not really a big thing here like it was at that airline, so I've never actually done it here. But you would get a little extra money for that. Whew. Okay, so that's actually the main part of the video. Um, I just want to talk about a few things that I get asked. Deadheads. So we do get paid for deadheads. If you don't know what a deadhead is, the definition that I come up with will be on the screen. Because I am still getting paid. I don't get boarding pay because I'm not boarding anyone. But I do get that flight pay. So that's awesome. Trainings. When you're in training, you get a pay. And when you are in CQ or requalifications, you get paid for that as well. And A days. I'm gonna have to do a whole video about A days or access days or reserve days, whatever you like to call them, whatever they're called at your airline. But at my airline, we have A days or access days or availability days, but we do get paid for them. We do have a set guarantee amount that you will make, whether you get called or not, you will make at least this amount of money. It is not fair for you to be sitting at home waiting to be called or sitting at the airport waiting to get called and you just, don't get paid so they do give you a flat guarantee i'll put that on the screen because i don't remember it off the top of my head i'm pretty sure it's like 152 dollars per day and we usually have six a days a month depending on how long you've been with the company and if you have a days or not but yeah you do get paid for those as well something that people ask me a lot actually is do we pay for our hotels no the airline is paying for my hotel. You're making me work here. You're sticking me here for 17 hours. You're gonna pay for my hotel. And do we pay for our own food? Yes, we do sometimes have hotels that give us free food, which is awesome, but that's not as common. But yeah, that's all that I can think of to tell y'all about pay. If you have any more questions, because I'm sure I forgot something, make sure you comment it or just hit me up on Instagram and I'll let you know. I hope this video was helpful. I tried to get in as much information as I can. Once again, leave a green emoji in the comments, green hearts, green plants, green tree, green money, anything. Go ahead and leave it in the comment section. And just know that I appreciate you so much for clicking on this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a blessed day. How about the title? What is this one hair doing? Um, um, ow. I need one more example. One more example, where's it at? Go girl, go. Y'all, I'm really feeling this hair. Like I didn't like it at first, but the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm feeling it. And to the comment that was like, girl, you look cute, but I wish you would try new wig styles. You're welcome. Waiting to be caught. <laughs> Waiting to be good. Um, <sighs> done.